is everybody doing welcome to family mendoza vlogs um i do daily vlogs and then put them up every wednesday just so you know check out for the vlogs that come out every wednesday um so if you guys are new to my channel go ahead and subscribe keep up with us um we're a little crazy family and we do lots of different videos and daily vlogs of course so um today i have a different video for you guys i'm doing a pregnancy video i just don't know how to call it but it's kind of more of um gender baby myths i guess uh like um myths that people actually go by and then you know you're like oh okay i'm gonna have a boy or i'm gonna have a girl um i already have a vlog out that shows what i'm having um, i decided to also do the gender baby myth because um I think it's so funny because sometimes we actually do believe it like to me I actually believed what I was gonna have in my first pregnancy because I already have my son he's already um, he's four that's my first pregnancy and this is my second pregnancy totally opposite from what happened in my first pregnancy to this one so stay tuned and keep watching and if you're pregnant go ahead and follow these um, myths I'm not gonna tell you that they're gonna be true but um, you can also go online and Google it and you'll find lots of different myths that you guys could try out and see what you guys are having. Right. So first of all, uh, my first pregnancy, completely different than this one. I'm going to start with food cravings because I remember with my first pregnancy, um, before I even find out that I was pregnant, I was craving a lot of like hot Cheetos and things that were spicy and salty. Right. For this one, completely different. Um... I was more into like having strawberries, watermelon. I ate more foods that were more like in the sweet area. Like I would be like, oh, I want a cupcake or I want a piece of cake. I want a cookie. Um, more in the sweet area. So for food cravings, if you're into citrus and sweet, then you're going to have a girl. And if you're into salty foods and meats, then you're having a boy. So remember my first pregnancy, I was craving more of the salty foods. That was a boy for this one i'm craving more of um the sweets and more citrusy and sweet flavors that's a girl so that's already a point for a girl what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be writing it down over here <clears throat> so girl has one and boy so far has zero <laughs> all right now we're gonna talk about the belly shape so for my first pregnancy um with my boy my pregnant my belly was really pointy so it would show more like a pointy belly right and that was a boy for this pregnancy my belly looks so weird because when i sit down it just looks like i'm just fat it doesn't even look like i'm pregnant it looks like more like i'm just fat and i got more of a little belly pouch up in here and when you have like a rounded belly also um you also get fat like you grow from the sides and it doesn't just grow in the middle like belly pointing forward so when your belly's pointing forward like pointy you're having a boy when your belly's rounded and you're getting fat from all over the area and when you sit down you look like you're just fat you're kind of more of just rounded then you're carrying a girl now my belly is so now my belly's really round um that's a girl so we'll give another point to the girl so far boy is zero now i'm gonna show you guys my belly my belly is like everywhere i bet you never killed anyone to the baby's heartbeat um for my first pregnancy i didn't really pay attention to the heartbeat because i was just like um okay it's a baby whatever you know uh but this one i was kind of more following like the myths and i was kind of like well what can it be because i really was so anxious to find out what it was um so baby heart for the baby's heart rate if you're above 140 um you're having a girl if it's below 140 or i mean yeah below 140 you're having a boy um when i first went in to get my first ultrasound i think i was maybe i don't know if it was like around maybe 10 weeks or something like that because they get you know they send you so you could go see if the baby's normal and you're not having any problems with the baby um 
I think the heartbeat was around like 150 and higher. And I was just kind of like, oh, okay, it's a girl. Um, the second time I went in, it was around 140. Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to be, a, you know, right there. It was kind of hard for me to even kind of guess myself. Um, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. This one's kind of hard. <laughs> um, I don't know. I believed myself it was a girl. So I'm going to give a girl another point. Even though I'm kind of confused on this one because it's kind of hard. Okay. So now we're going to go with um, skin imperfections. Okay. Uh, for my first pregnancy, I got a lot of acne on my face. I was breaking out mostly like on the sides right here. And that had never happened to me before I was even pregnant. So it was kind of like, oh my God, I'm breaking out a lot. Again, I was not paying too much attention about the gender for my first baby. But if your skin is breaking out, you're having a girl. The reason why is because the girl is taking out all the beauty from you. And the baby's going to be beautiful. I guess that's why you get you break out. So um, if you're breaking out, then it's a girl. If your skin is perfect, then it's a boy. And it's weird because my skin right now looks... Well, I have makeup on, but you can't see like pimples because I'm not really breaking out. So that is going to be for boy. All right. Do heartburn. Okay. For my first pregnancy, I never got heartburn. I never felt nauseous, nothing like that. My first pregnancy was perfect. It was beautiful, perfect. Like nothing would hurt, nothing was going on. I mean, only like the bad side stuff like my belly too big I can't sleep at night or breaking out but um if you got if you're getting heartburn you're having a girl if you're not getting heartburn you're having a boy the reason why I have no idea that's one of the myths but for this pregnancy I got a lot of heartburn every time ever since I got pregnant like before even knowing that I was pregnant um I would eat food and burp it and burp it and burp it. Um, I don't know, drink something, I would burp it. If I would even eat something small, I would burp it. So it's kind of weird. Um, so if you're getting heartburn, you're getting, I mean, you're having a girl. If you're not, then you're having a boy. Like I said, for my first pregnancy, I didn't. So that's a point for the boy. But for this one, I got a lot of heartburn. I even still have it now. I eat something and I'm always burping it up. So yes to heartburn, that one's a point for the girl. So far the girl's winning. Your partner getting, I mean your partner putting on weight. So if your partner's putting on weight, then it's a girl. Uh, I think mine is not. I think mine's just, he's always been like that. So, so I think that one was a boy. So I'm going to give that one to the boy. Okay. So number seven is if you're moody, okay? And also in the Hispanic area, Mexican area, whatever you want to call it, Hispanic, um, if you're getting moody, like let's say and your husband, you're mad at him all the time for no reason, you got all these attitudes towards him, you're just like, you look at him, you're just like, ugh, can't even look at you, right? That is you're having a girl. It's like you're more emotional. You're more emotional sentimental you're more like oh my god i can't believe it you know you're having a girl for my first pregnancy i loved my husband <laughs> i was excited i loved him i was like oh my god we're having a baby you know um and it was a boy for this pregnancy um i think my first trimester i think <sighs> i was so emotional everything got me upset i look at my husband i'd be like oh can't stand him like I can't even look at you you know and I was like but why you know it's my husband like you know it just it was the way you know I was feeling um I even got upset because I was wearing these heels one time I went to the party to a wedding actually I was wearing these heels um bottom heel like a glass heel and I remember I was already mad that day but I remember my brother commenting, saying, oh, my God, um, I want to take some shots. You better let me and Mary take them shots with them shoes. And I was like, 
what? Oh my God, I got so mad. I was like, Manny, like tell my husband, I was like, let's get out of here. I'm so upset. I got in the car, I started crying. And then later I was kind of like, um, those heels do look like little shot glasses. So why am I even tripping? And I was so like upset and emotional. Like I'm just telling you, I was having all these mood swings and I was being moody and all that stuff. So again, being moody, that's a girl. So we're gonna give a point to the girl. So far, the girl has one, two, three, four, five points, and the boy I only have um, one, two. I only have two points. Um, so in this pregnancy, my belief was going towards me having a girl. This pregnancy is so different. I'm sure I'm gonna have a girl. Um, another thing. This pregnancy was so different than my first pregnancy. Of course, all the pregnancies are going to be different. But I was like, maybe I'm having a girl because I had a boy first. And now this pregnancy is so different. I'm having a girl. So all of these kind of went towards the girl. And I was like telling my husband, oh my God, I think we're having a girl. And um, I was like, but it could be a boy as well. So I kept um, really into, I got really stuck into it was a girl. But then I'm like, no, it could be a boy. So calm down <laughs> um i did get names for boys and girls because i was like i just don't want to be stuck with girl and then finding out it's a boy so yeah so that's all the myths that i have that i was going forward um and then in one of my vlogs i actually tell you guys the gender already and it's crazy i went to get my ultrasound at 20 weeks and i was like oh my god i'm so excited I'm gonna find out and they're gonna say it's a girl you know um no they ended up saying oh my god his pee pee was up it's a boy oh my god congrats and i was like oh it's a boy i just couldn't believe it because i was so stuck in the myths that i was kind of leaning towards the myth myths that i was thinking and i was like how am i having a boy when this pregnancy is totally different and i'm like my belly's different my cravings are different my everything's different like how is it that i'm having a boy you know um another myth before i forget another myth was um how much you're eating so um they're saying that with the boy you tend to eat a lot of food so you're kind of eating for two people like literally you're like ah oh, you know hungry and i remember for my first pregnancy I feel like I was eating for two. I gained so much weight and I was just like, oh my God, you know, like I wanted to eat everything. I was hungry all the time. Um, for this pregnancy, again, I thought, um, as a girl, um, I'm eating a little more like less, kind of more just for myself. Um, I tend to eat, but I get full faster and I'm not eating like meals. I'm mostly more like snacking and I don't have that much of an appetite so when you're having a boy you tend to eat more when you're having a girl you tend to not have that much of an appetite so with this one i was like oh my god is this is what they're saying i'm having a girl you know so i'm gonna put another point for the girl so i tally everything up like girl it's one two three four five six for a boy i only had two i'm having a girl and then they're like nope you're having a boy so i was like like, I was like, oh my God. And I tell my husband, I was like, oh my God, guess what? We're not having a girl. He was just like, oh, we're not? And I was like, no. And I guess I guess we got so into believing this. But but yeah, this is a little fun gender baby myth that you guys could do. I'm telling you Hispanics, Mexicans, or I don't know if all Hispanics, but there's like a lot of myths that people kind of be like, oh my God, your belly is different. Oh my God, this is a boy. Oh my God, that's a girl. But yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, I was really shocked to find out that I was having another boy. But I know my baby Elijah, he is excited. He wants a baby brother to play with. Um, so we're so happy that he's actually going to have someone to play with. I don't know if I'm going to keep trying for a girl. But maybe we could talk about that next time. And yeah, so you guys comment, subscribe if you have any other questions. Just let me know. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye, you guys.